<laughs> Yo, you rocking with your boy Casual Boxing Talk, man. Listen, I just finished watching the video, man, with my boy uh, T Street Controversy, right? He had a video up. He was showing what my boy uh, Eddie Hearn had to say about Bob Shop Conversations. Now, I had to get into this, man, because, you know, for weeks and months now, I, first of all, I told you this dude is a cocksucker, race hustler, man. And I told you he was an informant, man. I told you he was working with those people, man. I told you here he is here to cause confusion, man. He's not for the culture, man. He's a secret spy, man. This is a cocksucker that CBT been trying to put hands on for months now, right? Remember, I told you dudes, man, look. I want that work, I want that smoke, I come to your hood, I come to your gym, I get in the ring with you, we can spar. Put the headgear on, it is what it is, let's get it popping. We both talk boxing, right? Well, I break down boxing, I talk about boxing. When the last time you seen Frederick, bitch ass, talk about boxing? It's always about, uh, you know, politics of the boxing world, right? Uh, hating on the white man, right? So, you know, he then he, then he went and, you know... Called out T Street. Yeah, T Street. I get in the ring with you. I want that work. I'll do X, Y, and Z. T Street, you know he had his issues. We all know T Street. You know, we all know his history. Then he had his little issues. So T Street is not fit, physical fit, in my opinion, to get in the ring with a guy who supposedly jogs, supposedly spars. And I'm telling you, T Street, you will earth that dude. Man, he ain't what you think he is. He's short and he ain't got long arms to box with God. You feel what I'm saying? You rocking with your boy CBT, man. But I'm going to tell you I do something, man. You know, this is the reason why I got motivated to do this video, man. Real simple, some easy. I'm literally watching politics right now. I'm watching politics. We got the presidential debate tonight in two more hours. And I was just chilling today. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to know. Now, I don't know the whole LDBC. Literally, I know only what's the, that, that, that cocksucker fight fan, the fat boy, uh, 78, Fed Frederick, the, 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 the undercover LDBC member, Ego, and, 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 and some other dude from NY from the Bronx. That's the only dudes I literally, you know, knew or know that they're LDBC affiliates or whatever. I know it's like a thousand of them, but I don't even have the time to look at them, research them, know who they are. I'm CBT Casual Blast and took my own entity and I put hands and feet on any one of those cocksuckers without even knowing who they are. Point blank period. Now understand this. You may say, oh, C CBT, what's the issue? Well, the issue is these dudes are race hustling. These dudes are, you know, manipulating the fans. And these dudes, most importantly, are tearing down black people and black politics by acting like they're about and for black people. And I'm a black person, so yeah, that bothers me. You understand me? So when I called him out, was shaking was good. He did a video responding to me. I didn't see the video because I don't pay him no mind. But... Like, you know, this ain't recent. This is like maybe a month or two, three ago. And I just ran across the video because my girl, my homegirl was like, yo, I typed in casual boxing talk exposed just to see the feedback from people who don't like you. And she ran across that picture, the video, and he was like, oh, CBT, well, casual boxing talk, I don't know who you is. I don't want, I don't want no problems with you. I don't want to spar with you. I wish I would have seen that video at the time that I, I called them out, but I literally didn't because I would have. You know, responded like, yeah, cocksucker, it is what it is. I'm going to still bully you. You dig me? But at the end of the day, right, you smell me like, you know, he 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 runs and he talks about how he want to get in the ring with T-Street. T-Street clearly said, listen, I'm not going to fight you because you spar and you train and I'm not going to get in the ring with you because that wouldn't, even be. it'll be a mismatch. So T-Street thinks, but T-Street, it will not be a, a mismatch. He is sweet, bro. Trust me, man. Listen where he talk. But the thing is, how you going to spar and get in the ring with a dude like that, but you wouldn't get in the ring with a guy like me? You understand me? That's physically fit, that want that work, that's willing to come to your hood by myself. I'm not coming to his hood with a bunch of dudes from NYC, Queens, Far Rockaway, holla at your boy. We go down there, eat something up, tear something up. We, 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 you, you understand me? I'm for Dolo. I'm, cause I'm, I go to the way Bully Spence for Dolo. I go to Dallas for Dolo. I'm not trying to be... Going with a bunch of dudes because I'm so confident in what I'm here to do. And what I'm here to do is get in the ring and get that work. No street action, no street beef. Why would I want street beef with a dude I don't even know? You understand my point? My point is this, man. This dude is sweet. And the overall point is you guys, my black family, my black people, we all black. We disagree on YouTube. We have our fun. I try to put visuals and music and, and different things together. Just wasting my time. Not, not wasting, but using my time to produce 
and put things together so people could have fun the way I have fun. I always tell you, I'm my my I am my best watcher on YouTube. I love my videos. My homegirls love my videos. Imagine bringing a, a bro home from the club or bringing a girl that you need me, and you know how my, my videos can get crazy, right? And I show them my videos on my on my big you dig my, my big Mac in my in my luxurious room, and be in there watching CBT on big camera, and I feel like. It's a beautiful thing. They have fun. They enjoy it. They laugh at me. They call me all kind of names. My homegirls. But we have fun. So I love my videos. So if you don't, that's your business. But I make videos for me. See, when you can make a video for you and you can watch your own video, it's a beautiful thing. My bigger point is this, man. To my black family and, and all that, like, like that there. Y'all like to talk black family and black excellence. Okay, listen to me. You know a con artist when you see one, my nigga. You know one. Because we black people, we are so... And we know these things. We can smell these dudes, man, coming a mile away. And for you guys to uh, to, to get caught up in the backpack movement, and, and, and you dig? Giving back to the community movement. That's the ploy, man. That's how he gather and get you in to hear his his, his nonsense, man. And I, I read this dude. I see this dude a mile away, man. And I'm telling you, don't let this dude fool you, man. Don't let him fool you, man. He throw nuggets out there, man. Talking about he a millionaire. Talking about he got this and this, that, and the third. And that. We know the game, man. I come through the... Look, it's, it's, it's as simple as this. I come through the hood with a big-ass chain on. You dig what I'm saying? Nice rings on. With the Gucci, with the Louis, with the shoes, with the boots, with the Timbos, with the leather. However you want to see it that looks wavy, right? What you going to think? I'm the man. I'm moving and shaking. You're going to think either I'm a drug dealer or I'm getting money this way or I'm getting money that way. Oh, he's doing his thing. He got all the chicks. That's the perception, right? I could be a broke, bro, but I'm giving you the perception. I'm driving in this type of car. I'm talking about this type of business. I'm telling you that I own this. I'm telling you I own 17. <laughs> Good God. You get me? Now he got your ear. Now he got you thinking like him. And if he can make you think like him, he can make you do what he wants you to do. I'm not saying everything this dude do is negative. I'm not saying I know this guy history or what's in his pockets because I don't. I'm telling you what he give the people, right? So I'm not assuming anything. You understand me? And that's why I use my words carefully when I mention certain things because I don't want no dude saying, oh, what you can't with the pockets for? I don't do that, right? Because I just said, I, I'm telling you what he tell the people. This is information that he tells through his nasty looking lips. It's crazy. <laughs> so, so my phone died on me as I was giving him that word. So I picked up my other iPhone on my other iPhone charge. You dig what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man. Don't like that dude, man. I just don't like him, man, because of what he represent and how he telling and manipulating my people, man. Y'all know better than this, man. Anytime you got a dude that's talking about, I ain't about that life. I'm not a street guy. I may know a little bit here and there because of my uncles, but you could go to 78 if you want to hear something gangster. That's a dude that's playing both hands. That's a guy that's playing both sides of the street. That's the guy that's going to say something. On one side of the street, and when he gets to the other side of the street, he's gonna pretend like he ain't about that life when the pressure hit him. You understand what I'm saying, people? Y'all know these type of dudes, man. Y'all went to school with them, man. Y'all know how they move, man. Oh, now you're not about that life? I heard you talking reckless over there. And then, like, nah, nah, man. You know, I'm a square from Delaware. Come on, man. Y'all know these dudes. But at the end of the day, you can choose. I'm not telling you not to talk to this dude, not to, you know, watch his videos. You know, that's not what I'm doing. I want y'all to get that clear. I'm exposing who he is as a person and the, the, the mirage, the, the, the type of person he make you believe he is, it's not true, bro. Not true. You feel me? He throw finances and money and wealth in your face to put you at a certain level to him. He's already minimizing you by telling you what he got so you can believe and feel like this guy know more than me because he got more than me, man. It's all about manipulation, bro. People, we do this all the time. You do it. You just ain't doing it at the level he's doing it, so you can't compare. You don't think you're doing the same thing. You feel me? Come on, B. Ain't nobody broke out here. Everybody got a few dollars. I'm moving and shaking. You moving and shaking because you rocking with CBT, man. You feel me? Now, at the end of the day, I want to end with this, man. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Eddie Hearn supporter. I rock Eddie Hearn. 
You know why? Because I know that he wants to put on boxing for the people. I know that he got a fight in Anthony Joshua. That's the truth. And he brought Anthony Joshua up at the ranking. And he said, Anthony Joshua, you ain't got to go fight Dillian. You ain't got to go fight these tough fighters, Parker, and to attack him. And, and, and all these type of guys right now. I mean, let's bring you up. You only got 10 fights. You only got 9 fights. You only got 12 fights. But he fought the tough fights. And he got in the ring. And I don't know who did the pushing, who did the shoving. But he got in the ring. You understand me? And I said, who? I don't know who did the pushing or the shoving because at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua said, I want to fight in Madison Square Garden where, they went, where it all went down at. Anthony and Eddie Hearn said, nah, man, let's take it back to Carter. See, that's two guys that have the same mindset, uh, meaning they want the, 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 the same outcome, but they have different opinions on where the fight should be placed, right? So that's the pushing and the shoving and who Anthony Joshua should have faced coming up in the rankings. Just to get that clear, Right? So Anthony Joshua, right, it's the truth. Eddie Hearn is beside him, and I'm rocking with Eddie Hearn because I know he put no fights for the zone. I know he cared about the people. He came to the to the to the states and put money in these young black dudes' pocket that wouldn't have got an offer from the from the uh from PBC, wouldn't have got an offer from Fox, wouldn't have got an offer from uh Al Heyman or uh, or, or Bob. Nah, they wouldn't have got offers, man. Y'all know that, right? So they riding with the zone, they riding with my boy Eddie Hearn, and he putting money, he coming to the hood like Santa Claus and giving dudes a good deal. Work hard, I put you in the ring, I ain't got the best opponents right now, but we trying to do what we got to do. Every business, every corporation start from the bottom and they struggle their way up to the top, just like PBC did. So ain't no hate, no animosity towards the dude, man. What, what, my dude, what goddamn uh, promoter is on the front lines talking about everything and anything you want to talk about you want to talk about boxing let's talk about boxing you want to talk about p politics let's talk about politics you understand what i'm saying that's that's not been no one does that so as a promoter and he's accessible to the people right he's uh easy to get along with he's approachable that's somebody that i want to have a beer with we don't know Al Heyman. We don't know his secrets. And he keeps it like that because he can do whatever he want to do. And you won't be able to answer him or question him. That's why he do what he want to do. And it, the moves that he make. And it's a beautiful thing. It's just chess. I'm not mad at it. But we can say, ooh, that's, that's not a good look. Because, you know, I understand. You dig what I'm saying? Here's the point. I looked at the media. When Dillian did his thing. And I am suspicious. I think something funny going on. But it's funny. It's stuff funny, it's stuff funny going on in every organization. PBC, Fox, uh, ESPN, Bob and Al. Everybody got something funny going on. Delahoy, All of them. They're going to protect their fighter. And yeah, maybe they got something under the books that, that they know. And they're going to sweep it under the rug because of their fighter in their company. That's how the world works. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. Everybody got something to say about you, Cap, but you Cap busted Dillian. And the WBC didn't. You remember that? You remember, you see what I'm saying? So you got to do your math. But if you listen to a guy like that, he will run it and drag it in your mind that the, the that you Cap and the, and the UK and, and, and my boy Eddie Hearn are terrible people. And they're hiding something. But he won't tell you the truth. And I will say this. You know, Eddie Hearn don't understand. The people in the UK don't understand America. See, remember, in America, if my lights go off, the white man has something to do with it. If my paycheck is light, the white man has something to do with it. If my pavements where I walk and go to the store, if they're rotten and disgusting, the white man has something to do with it. That's what the that's what America is about. That's why you get white people saying, yeah. It's a white person fault because of this. White person fault because of that. When you're going to stop blaming white folks, black people. They say that because that's what it is in America. And I'm black and I'm telling you this because I'm, I'm speaking the truth, people. Cut it out, man. And that's, look, remember, uh, Dillian Pop, who fault is it? Eddie Hearn, <laughs> right? Look, think about it. Uh, Dillian uh, didn't tell or he didn't tell Ra Ra a Revest team. Who fault is it? Eddie Hearn, right? Uh, Eddie Hearn didn't have, he tell, listen, it's not protocol. It's not what we're supposed to do. I don't have to do that. You know, the contract doesn't state that we have to do that. UCAT, let me slow down. UCAT protocol is that they test the B sample and you cleared the fight, you get in the ring. Whether we pops you or not, 
you're still unable to get into the ring. You know why they do that, people? Because they believe in innocent before proven guilty. In America, we say innocent before proven guilty, but we don't really mean it. We know it's guilty, then you have to prove yourself innocent. You can't be saying, look, man, you pop for the or abnormal testing went on with your A sample. But if I strip you from fighting this cocksucker Revez for $15 million, right? If I, if I prevent you from doing that, imagine if your B sample come back clear and it was our fault and I was testing that get that that was the problem, not you. Dillian would have lost $15 million. Eddie Hearn would have lost his shirt. Revest wouldn't have got paid. The whole car would have been destroyed because of a false positive. That's what UCAP situation, that's what UCAP is thinking. And that's why they said it so the way it is. Now, we would say, come on, bro, you test positive for the A sample. What is the likelihood of you, uh, the test being, you know, not positive for the B sample? I get you. It's a big argument, but that's the rules. That's the protocol. My point is this. Eddie Hearn need to understand. That in America, everything is the white man's fault. So when you see people saying, Eddie Hearn should have did this. Eddie Hearn should have did this. Eddie Hearn should have picked up his, he should have picked up the world on his shoulders and did that. He should have drove this car. He should have did this. He should have did that. It's because that's what we do. We blame white people for everything, man. But I don't do that. And I know you don't mean to do that. But you got stuck into this mentality by guys like that. Race hustling. And you believe the same thing. Eddie Hearn doesn't control everything, people. Get that through your head, okay? You rocking with your boy CBT, man. You see what I'm saying? We're going to give it to you the way it's supposed to be given to you, man. We're not going to be playing. We're not going to be race hustling on this channel. You may not like my politics. You may not like my videos. You may not like who I pick. You may hate the fact that I'm running down on the white bully Spence and I want that work and I want that smoke, but you got to understand this. I'm willing to get in the ring with Frederick. I'm willing to get in the ring with boxing fuck. Cocksucker fan, I'm willing to get in the ring with any one of your favorite YouTubers as a gesture to let you know that CBT just don't talk about it, right? He don't just commentate about it. You understand me? Tim, CBT love boxing, and CBT's willing to get in the ring and test my skills against your favorite YouTuber. Isn't, wouldn't that be a beautiful thing to watch? CBT get his hands, you could put get hands put on him. Once you want to see me get touched up a little bit, you understand me? Then we'll get your favorite your favorite YouTuber and put him in the ring with CBT. Watch how I work him. Watch how I'm touch him. Watch how I move and shake on him. You see what I'm saying? I can't wait to see the way Bully Smith is. I'm gonna expose him. You rocking with the best man? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. What you waiting for? Holla at me. Peace. Your boy CBT is everywhere. Your man ain't never here. You feel me? Oh no, let's get it straight. You see the boxes? You see him right here.